Okay, looks like that critical hit helped a lot, so we're gonna actually try to see if we can finish him off here. Probably not though. Okay, good, excellent, we got it. Now, another thing that I wanna mention is that in the, um, in the options, I changed the battle style from shift to set. So this way, instead of me always being asked, oh, do you wanna switch Pokemon? Look at that defense boost, three defense right there. That is a monster. It has it has pretty much amount the same amount of defense that my that my um it has pretty much the same amount of defense that Ampheyane and Santana have, and it's only at level 11. This is what I'm talking about right here. Right? This is a monster. Let's go hit him with the tackle. Since most likely it's going to be a special attacker, we don't need to do baby all eyes here. But like I was saying, in the options menu, I change it from shift to set. So this way, I can take hit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he did a lot of damage there. Time to switch up, Santana. It is your time to shine. So basically, I have changed it from shift to set to make it so that instead of like the trainers always asking me if I want to switch Pokemon, they just throw them in the next Pokemon. It makes the game happen a little bit faster, and makes the game a little bit more difficult as well. It makes it more competitive, so it makes it like happen fast. I really like the set um, option. Anyways, him with that fourth pump. Yes, there we go. And now Santana, I actually have mine. Mine actually has a nature which boosts speed and lowers defense, or special defense, I don't know. But either way, um, Santana is definitely a. Whoa, whoops, I almost destroyed the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I love Santana for the fact that um, it's Riolu, first off. But uh, I gave mine a whole lot of attack EVs with the training. If you take a look, let me open up the training window. Um, yeah, super training. Look at. Um, you see that? Santana has like almost max attack EV, so I'm really like happy about that because it pretty much means that Santana's ready to kick ass. And so is Majesty. Look at her. Uh, look at him. Oh, he found a bag for defense. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Very good. That works even better for you. You know what? Let's give you that bag, man. Let's give you that bag. You need that. You clearly need that, so let's use that on you. And now I'll just passively hit it while I'm skating. Um, get into a battle. That's why I love too. You can also do the training while you're skating or while you're walking around, so this way you can just get a ton of points while you're still fucking around in the game. Okay, so we're going to beat this chick to death in multiple ways. Anyways, okay, so Majesty. Hit him with that baby doll eyes, girl. I mean, dude. Yeah, I'm not even gonna question why a dude. That's a move called Baby Doll Eyes. Anyways, trying to lower my defense? You ain't gonna be able to do shit. Hit him with that take hold. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Although I do worry about the leers, but the next Pokemon should be fine. Hit him with that take hold. Excellent. Oh, come on. Skiddo. Okay. Alright, this might be a bad matchup for me. Let's hit him with the baby doll eyes. The priority growl, man. Like, that actually is useful. Growth. Okay, time to leave. Time to leave. Time to leave. Because you're going to be able to do a lot. Let's see what your defense is like. Hit him with the tackle. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. Okay, he's going to fuck up my majesty real good. Even with my ability, I don't think I can take another hit like this. So let's go into Santana. The game also has these moments where it lags a little bit. It's kind of weird, but eh, I'm not really too bothered by it. But I don't really play with the 3D on either, because once you have the 3D on, then the game just really starts to lag a lot. So I'm like, okay, fuck that, obviously. And with that force palm. There we go. It's one dead ass skidoo right there. There we go, Santana. Let's go. Majesty level 12. Let's look at that defense boost. Wants to learn headbutt. That's perfect. It doesn't show you their stats for the Pokemon who leveled up that are in your party that aren't in the battle. It needs to show you the stats so at least you know what it's getting. Anyways, we can get rid of um, we can get rid of tackle, I think. We don't really need tackle. And headbutt's a great move too, because of the flinching chance as well. So I love headbutt in that regard. Okay, game experience. The experience share, by the way, that is such a great item. That means that leveling up your whole team will be so much easier. So competitive players can get really competitive once you, like, this game makes competitive dabbling so simple to understand. It is a, it is a science at this point. Anyone can do it. 
with the EV, with, with the with the super training and with the experience share, competitive battling is just the grasp away for everybody who picks up this game. Now sure, IV breeding is a whole nother story, but you know, people who really want to go that deep can, but if you just want to stress the surface, you can definitely do so. Anyways, keep hitting that bag. Um, Majesty's going to keep hitting that bag while I'm going to keep There we go. See some of you got 12. Four? Come on, that was a good bag. Anyways, whatever. Okay, let's see what's in the grass here. I just want to make sure I caught every Pokemon in this area. You see, this is how I play. This is how I play. Slow and steady. I do my thing. I have fun. I crack jokes on whatever I see. And that's that. Anyways, so now that Majesty is at level 12, and it has a new move, a stab move as well, let's see if we can give it a... I want to give you a potion. Let's see if we have one. Oh, we do. Lucky, you know? I thought I spent all my money on... Oh, we have four of them. Alright, somebody probably gave us those. There's no way in hell that I bought four of those. Um, okay, so let's keep looking. Another backpacker here. Let's battle his ass. Level up majesty. The music in this game is serious, by the way. Like, extremely serious. Like, to the point where I actually love, like, just leaving the game on and listening to the music. So we have Sentry. So, let's go into majesty and we will fuck this thing up real nice. Real, real nice. Okay. So him with the headbutt. Look at that damage, man. Okay. I'm down. What are you doing? I tried to turn the 3D on. It lagged right there. It must lag here too with the 3D. Yeah, look at that lag. The frame rate drop on the 3DS is insane at this point. Anyway, let's hit him with the headbutt. still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Okay, we're good. I just worry if there's a problem with my um, my capture card or not, but everything's good. Okay, let's continue moving. Okay. We already caught you. We don't need you, Pancho. I know you want to get on the team. I know you I know you want to be on the team, but I'm sorry. You, you just, you're not live enough. You're just not. Not for me. Not for me. I thought I would have wanted a Panchum on my team, but I already have so many attackers. I already have my Riolu, who's a fighting type as it is. And then I already have my, um, my Frogadier, who's going to be a fighting type. So there's no need. Okay, we are not going to fuck with this. There's no way this is happening right now. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Thank God they're all under level. And I have no idea what Furfro's stats are. I hope it's viable and competitively, because right now, Furfro is seeming like it's that Pokemon for me. Like, I hope it's viable competitively, hopefully. Anyways, let's continue. Is there anything this way, though? No, nothing that way, just some trees that we have to cut down with an HM that we don't have. Anyways, let's continue. Holo clip, what? Okay, what the hell's going on here? Thank you for using the Holocaster. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I can control it. Oh. Okay, so the Star Labs developed the Holocaster to live, make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more content. We hope to continue the service. Oh, okay. So what? You just messaged me to tell me, hey, we hope you like us. We hope you like us. And that's it. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's continue through this town and see what's good. Also, I heard about some glitch to not save in Lumino City. Well, when I heard about that, that scared the shit out of me. But, of course, I didn't do it because I don't need that kind of shit happening to me. But I, I am aware of the glitch, so everything should be fine in that regard. I never saved there. I only saved in the roots before.